Hello, welcome. So today we are gonna have a look at some of Microsoft Store art programs. And I personally don't really use Microsoft Store. And do you guys use Microsoft Store? Because, um, I don't know, it just kind of seems redundant to me. I don't know, I just don't use it. Never used it. So, and um, I was just like sitting on my laptop, decided to try them out. And then I looked it up and a lot of people already made videos about it. Let's just see what we got. If you can't tell yet, I'm very bad with the intros. Like really bad. Also, do you like my chicken nugget? <laughs> I didn't make the painting. I'm just, I'm in love with that chicken nugget baby. Good nugget baby. Look at it. <laughs> Some of them are kind of looking really sketchy so i'm kind of worried about that because what if my computer will be like horribly infested with viruses and stuff they're like four three nine two and one unless reviews on certain programs also let me just point it out this one and this one so I was really <laughs> intrigued by the program that just said drawing apple and oils and I'm like no shade to anybody like whoever made this program like you go but it just like kind of intrigued me and um, if you see it's you can see my videos and drawings and sketch by video within this app I want to be artist like listen <laughs> Vincent van Gogh Guess that it's somebody who put drawings, made a whole app, and then put it on Microsoft Store as a way to market themselves, which is, you know, interesting because I don't think a lot of people go on Microsoft Store, especially to like check out artists <laughs> and as you can see like there's like five reviews so like five people downloaded it but only has two stars which is kind of sad and i guess they're not even using like real paint they're using fresh paint which i actually downloaded and we're gonna try it out but um yeah i guess it's just an app of a person who painted an apple and microsoft Fresh paint, and there is another one that actually is a similar thing. It's the same person, and mind you, they have to make it into an app from what I understand. So they have to like program it and then publish it on Microsoft Store. It sounds like a lot of hustle, but um, you know, kudos to you, whoever done it. Like if you're watching it, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to roast. You. Let me go find some, well, it's been a couple days. So the first one on our list is going to be Fresh Paint, which is actually a Microsoft program. Now enjoy me being confused for about an hour. Well, workstation, I guess? Like what? This is... So this like the watercolor. This is not very intuitive. I don't really like it. Let's get some other color. Oh, I can pick this one so I can go with this. And then I can choose another color and mix it in on this palette. But it's not mixing in. I don't really get it. <laughs> And can I like pick them from this one? No. Well, it's not doing anything. It doesn't change the color on even though like right here it's just showing that there are different colors on the brush. I'm a little confused. What's that? What's this? Color picker? That's a very unfortunate way to color pick. I don't know how I feel about this one. So I can't erase whatever is already dry i guess this is very very annoying well it's truly like it's an oil painting i feel so helpless right now ah, ah, 
why am I struggling so bad? I don't, I don't want to sound like a bitter, bitter bitch, but I just don't really like it. Like, look at this mess. It's a mess. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this one. Let's just close it and forget it because I'm very, very sad. It just, I don't know, like, Microsoft, what are you doing? Like, can we get a pass out of control, please? Thanks. <laughs> well, next, next one is a program called Sketchpads. And it's just what it is, it's a little sketchpad. You can pick background color, you can pick pen color, pen thickness, eraser thickness, and control Z doesn't work with it. So, um, yeah. Um, okay, there it is. Oh, let's try, it's kind of, it's kind of got that feel of like old school paint with less functions. But, um, yeah, I guess it's not necessarily, it's not working. Pen. Pen. Pen, please. Pen, please. <laughs> well, <laughs> that ends our review. <laughs> Pen, please. This, like, what's going on? I'm picking the pen, picking the pen, picking the pen. It's not, it's, it won't work, so I give up. <laughs> Next one is gonna be Sketchboard. This cool logo. And this is just um, it's even more bare bones than I thought. I guess it's not really an art program, huh? That's just me being sad. So I'm gonna pick a small brush and with the red I'm gonna sketch something out. Let's do like a little portrait, I guess. I feel like people are gonna drag me. Yeah. Skateboard. One out of five. <laughs> So on our final program is called Speedy Painter. Very lightweight, complete art program. So out of all of those programs, this is the one that is kind of advertised as being for artists, by artists, and being like a full on painting program. So I'm kind of excited about this one and see like it's very kind of minimalistic design. I see some, I see layers menu right there, so that's nice. Ooh, I like this. Look at that. It's like different brushes, different textures. You can, you can customize a lot of stuff. This is like very nice and flow and you can, oh, this is so nice. You can, you can add like color jitter and hue jitter and everything and I like this. Let's try to like create something because I gotta make up for what's this, this is size, this opacity and this is hardness. This is kind of cool. I kind of like it. I like it a lot actually. And uh, it's kind of, it's pretty smooth. I gotta look up how many like how many reviews does it have? Like how many people know about it? Because it's it's like pretty, I don't like it. I'm just, I, I sound very repetitive, but I'm just kind of blown away. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think it's Rose. Shit, it froze. Man, what the hell? 
I was so happy. And so let's give it another shot. If it doesn't work after this, I'm be thoroughly disappointed. Look, it. This is so cool, like it's kind of like Procreate, I guess, for Windows because it records your drawing progress process and then it, you can replay it and you can save it and it auto saves it. Like it's a, like it's not, it seems like such a good program, but I just don't like the froze on me. Final thoughts on Speedy Painter. It's a kind of a neat little so piece of software. I, it's pretty simple. I don't see any way to like have different layer modes. So like multiplying, color dodging, all that stuff. I don't really see it. But overall it's like, it's a neat little fucking program. It's, a lot of fun it's lightweight but my computer is not really struggling with it too much other than other that crash in that one time but i think that's not too bad like i'm pleasantly surprised which i actually didn't expect i wouldn't work on really big pieces in it but you know just doodling around and also plus it records your process by itself and plays back like Procreate does, but it's on Windows and it's free, so you know, get it. I read Speedy Painter a 4 out of 5. There's room to improve, but it's already not bad. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching and check out some more videos. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week with another art or craft related video. Bye!